Hi, this is the cool geek and in this video series, I'm going to create a basic dashboard. The objectives of this particular video is to create a sales dashboard to analyze sales trend by month, quarter and year. The other video that I'm going to make is on how to analyze the same sales trend by week. So let's get on to the data. The data I have with me is some detergent sales data and the products are listed here. I have uh, the sales the dates in which they were sold channel the region quantity units sold and sales amount right so for this video i'm going to keep it very simple i'm just going to use date sold and the sales amount just to analyze the sales trend right and then we'll build on that particular thing so first thing let me just show you the setup of what i have so this is the data i have from jan 2011 to august 2012 and then i have some additional data which I'm going to use it later once I have created the chart, right? So we're going to ensure we're going to create dynamic reports such that when we add additional data, the report is still valid, right? So I'm just going to insert the pivot table on this and get started. I'm going to say insert pivot table. The table that I have given is TAB underscore sales and I'm going to use the existing worksheet for this. So I'm going to go to the sales summary, select A3 and say OK to create the pivot table. Now to get the sales summary what i'm going to do is put sales amount there and ensure it is sum okay also i'm going to click on value field settings and change the number format to dollars because when we add a column to the pivot table it just removes the formatting so okay and we have the formatting back then what i'm going to do is take the date sold to the rows area and display the information like this now this is automatically grouped within my pivot table you might also have grouped it don't panic if it's not grouped you will have the data like this now the first thing that i'm going to do is group the data in terms of month quarter and years so right click group select quarter and years month will be selected by default say okay and you will have your data now we're going to analyze the sales data so what we're we going to do is compare year on year right so i'm going to take years to the column area and that way you will get a comparison between 2011 and 2012. so on top of this i'm just going to add a pivot chart it's going to be a line chart with markers and say okay okay and i'm just going to place it here okay so now to make this a dashboard obviously we need to get in some amount of control on how you want to analyze or slice uh, slice the data to view it so what i'm going to do is i'm ex going to expand the row number one here okay but we can insert some amount of slices to get a control on the pivot table here right so i'm just going to select the pivot table go to this analyze tab say insert slicer uh, it's going to be on quarter years and date sold date sold is going to be the pseudo name for months so i'm going to say three of them now we can select the rest and have it uh, there that we're going to see it in the next video for now we're just going to analyze the sales data by by month quarter and year say okay and you'll have your information ready here so what i'm going to do is get this guys aligned on here on the top so i'm going to size it let's say two point three and one point one that shortens it okay i'll just expand this a little bit i'll take the same quarters uh, information here uh, quarter size here it's going to be 2.3 1.1 and uh, the month information here right so this also i'm just going to say 2.3 and width i'm going to say 2.2 just the double of it and i'm creating two rows on top of it so i'm going to say size and properties i'll go to the position and layout and increase the columns say okay right i'll just close this one now this is okay i'll just resize it this a little bit and reduce this chart a little bit reduce the sheet a little bit Okay, so now I have the data. I'll just uh, ensure that I have a larger chart. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, that does it. Okay, now we have our dashboard ready. Obviously, it's a very basic dashboard where we have year, quarter, and date sold. Now, obviously, we can select the different years and have view the data. Like, for example, 2011, I see 2011 data only. 
2012 data only but if i remove the filters i'll see a comparison of both of them right i can also compare quarter one specifically and you'll see that this is a slightly flatter trend and this and there was an increase in 2012 in in the month of feb similarly you can compare quarter two quarter three and quarter four will not be able to compare because we don't have the data available with us right this is how we create a simple dashboard on the data we have now in the next video i'm going to show how we're going to add the additional data to this and ensure that those summaries are available for us on the dashboard right that's going to be a very easy step please do watch the next video and thank you for watching this video if you like my videos please do subscribe to my channel thank you